my everybody um welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been super super long since i've posted and um not exactly classified as a tech youtuber but i just basically was you know scouring youtube and uh the z fold 4 just recently came out and i haven't really seen any comparison videos of these two colors here which is the Z Fold 4 in the beige color and the Z Fold 3 in the silver color which um, in my opinion are the more softer tones in the lineup. I haven't seen any more comparison videos so I thought that I would give it a try. So I'm just going to go over a few of the differences between the two models and what has changed and also I'm going to give a few case recommendations as well because um, for me I just personally like girlier or I wouldn't say girly, but more feminine style cases and the ones for this uh, Samsung lineup when these phones are first released just don't really cut it. So I wanted to give you guys some some companies that I would recommend that make excellent cases for these phones so stay tuned. First thing I want to just jump into um, the sizes here. So obviously you see that the Z Fold 4, which is the one on the right here, is a little bit shorter than the Z Fold 3. And also, um, you probably can't tell the difference here on camera, but the Z Fold 4 is also ever so slightly wider than the Z Fold 3. Now, in my personal opinion, um, I didn't think this would make a whole, like a whole lot of a difference. But when you're actually using the device, I kid you not. Uh, the Z Fold 4 has a better viewing experience. Something about that widescreen, probably like a movie theater effect it might be. But it makes the aspect ratio so much better with it being a wider screen over a narrower screen. Something about it. I'm going to flip them over so you can see the difference as well. You can see here the Z Fold 4 is at the top. It sits ever so slightly wider than the Z Fold um but z fold 4 z fold 3 and quite literally um that makes so much of a difference when you're viewing like you would think that that little smidge of a difference wouldn't make much sense but it makes so much sense and pardon me for the viewing angle um once again like i'm not a regular tech youtuber so i don't have like a a worthy setup but I just really want to put that out there for those who are considering switching but don't really see much of a difference. So I'm going to give you a couple more angles of the two colors and how they differ as well. Here is another angle from the front. You will see once again that the screen is wider on the Z Fold 4 and the Z Fold 3 has a narrower, narrow, narrower front screen with a slightly more bulkier hinge. Now once again you're like ah oh, that's a small refinement but i kid you not it makes a world of a difference of the weight of the phone like i didn't realize how much weight was sitting in the hinge of that phone like it was it's quite heavy um and didn't really notice it on my day to day but when i switched i was like uh there's a huge difference actually like you can feel it in your hand it makes a difference as well when you're carrying it in a purse from a woman's perspective so just want to note that i'm going to do a color comparison the best way to see the color comparison is actually by um looking at the hinges so i'm going to do that for you all right so i'm holding this camera super odd because i'm trying to film from my ipad and it's quite big so here you have it this is the beige color versus the silver now on some of the marketing um, pictures, it didn't really do the colors justice, so it was quite hard to tell a difference. But in person, the beige is more of like a champagne color, which I absolutely love. It looks so luxurious. And the silver had this like iridescent, you can probably see that if I rotate it, it had this iridescent kind of uh, reflective coating that kind of made it have a rainbow effect. But basically, the hinge you can tell like this is silver silver this is more of a champagne gold i feel like they could have done better with the lighting on the promo so you can capture the, the actual color of the device because i was having a hard time i won't even lie i was having a super hard time trying to tell the difference in color 
on some people's videos because the lighting was too too bright so it looked like the same color phone so yeah i just want to show you that all right so lastly um i just wanted to kind of give you you know well mostly like for my females out there who uh, own these phones or would like to own these phones but they're just you know too big or too heavy to carry in your purse or the cases for them are not really attractive i wanted to get to give you guys some options as to where to find some really cute cases for these phones so um for the z fold 4 i actually just got this case um it's made by elizabeth james and it's very protective like it has hinge protection it has a uh, 10 feet of drop protection on it and the edges if you can see that and the inside are kind of like ribbed to give you some of that shock absorption and um that one i got from um a cell phone store uh, so just kind of search for that one so that fits the Z Fold 4. Now I had, and I'm going to show you them in a second, probably see them in the top of the screen, but I had so many nice cases <laughs> for the Z Fold 3 and I wasn't expecting to upgrade so soon, but I um, still want to show you the kind of cases that I had for it. And unfortunately, if you are wondering, no, the cases on the Z Fold 3 do not fit the Z Fold 4. The Z Fold 3, and I can actually give you an example here. Um, these cases, um, which are actually by Berga. And no, this video is not sponsored, but I wanted to let you guys know that they make cases for the Z Fold or Z Series period. They have them for the Z Flip as well. Um, this is for the Z Fold 3. Okay, you see how it fits in the camera bump now. This would have looked lovely on the Z Fold 4 if only it fits. It does not fit. The camera module is sat lower on the back of it and also the phone is shorter so it's not going to snap around the edges. So I just want to show you guys that. Once again, the company's name is Berga and here are a couple of the cases that I had. Um, now. Once again, I no longer have use for these cases, so I will be recycling them. And I was searching for a while because I have so many cases from um, my other phones that I never really got a chance to uh, dispose of properly. Um, and I just had to point up getting or tossing them because uh, I had way more cases than, than that. Uh, not for the Z Fold 3s in particular, but for other phones previous to them. But the good news is I did find a recycling um, channel that is through TerraCycle and um, I actually signed up through PopSocket. So if you are, and once again, this is not sponsored, but if you are looking to recycle any old cases, um, like old PopSockets, they do accept cases from other companies to, to recycle. So I would highly recommend doing that and being nice to the environment as you're upgrading these phones every year. <laughs> so yeah, that's all that I had. Another couple of websites that have good cases for the Z Fold 4, actually, I was taking a look. Um, Otterbox is coming out with some. Samsung also has some good ones as well. If you want to be different, Otterbox has a few. Um, they're on the more protective side, so if you want something that's a little less bulky, I would go with Berga. These are more of a shell. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I would typically recommend more protection, but I'm not going to lie. I dropped this phone several times in this case in particular, and I was shocked. Like, it actually protected it pretty well. I dropped it several times. It's sliding off surfaces because it was so heavy. Um, but also, Case Defy um, has a wider range of cases as well. And I could actually um, show you um, on my other phone. So give me one second, I'll show you um, what the Case Defy case quality is like. Alright, so this is a Case Defy case. Now this is for my um, iPhone 12. Um, now, it quite literally has not that much bulk to it, but if you feel it in person, it is excellent quality. And I got a Sailor Moon 
case here. I thought it looked nice with the blue. And it has like these um, edges of protection that have uh, like, I think it's called, I'm sure what it's called, it's Cheat Tech, but uh, once again, this is not sponsored, for so <laughs> uh, pardon me if I'm wrong, but they make really great cases and they're coming out with this kind of style case. It's called an impact case. They're coming out with this style of case for this phone. So if you're looking for something that's kind of less bulky, protective, and stylish, I would highly recommend it. I love this case. I really do. And lastly, this is how the Z Fold 4 looks in that case that I was telling you about. Now, it does have hinge protection once again. It is a little bit wiggly on the hinge, so just be aware. I think there's a way that you can take it off, but I just decided not to. There are these um, metal buttons on the side here that are really useful. And uh, yeah, so that is all from me. Um, highly recommend. Uh, keep in mind, take a look at the, the screen protectors when you're buying them. Um, I bought a particular brand of screen protector thinking that it was a glass one but it was plastic and I was highly upset so just keep an eye out for that but that is all for me thank you for watching uh, like comment um, and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye bye